Today we're talking about impressions, and only by studying will you know how to use them, so may the grammar be with you. Inversions happen in English when we change the logical order of a sentence, which is subject, verb, object. And we use them for different reasons, one of them being formality. Today, we'll take a look together at inverted conditionals, or how to use inversion with conditional sentences. Let's kick off with the first conditional by looking at this example. If the manager requires any further information, I will be happy to provide it. This is just a more formal way of saying, if the manager needs more information, I'll give it to him. But we can still make it sound even more formal or fancy by means of inversion. In order to use inversion with the first conditional type, we'll forget about if and start a sentence with should, after which we'll place a subject and then the bare infinitive of the verb, which means no third person singular as ending. So, our new inverted conditional sentence will look like this. Should the manager require any further information, I'll be happy to provide it. Cool. Let's now move on to the second conditional. As for the second conditional, there are two different structures that can be used. So, we'll deal with them separately. When the conditional sentence uses a verb to be to refer to an real present state or situation, we remove if and invert the subject and verb. Remember the form of verb to be will always be where, regardless of the subject. If I were fully vaccinated against COVID, I would not be so afraid of taking my mask off indoors. Were I fully vaccinated against COVID, I would not be so afraid of taking my mask off indoors. When, however, the verb in the conditional clause is an actual one, one that refers to an unlikely future event, as in, if you got your German B2 certificate, we could offer you a higher salary. In this case, the structure I'd use for the inversion would be where, subject, to infinitive. So, where are you to get your German B2 certificate, I'd be able to offer you a higher salary. Finally, the third conditional is easy to change. There's nothing to it. The only thing you need to do is remove if and invert the subject and auxiliary verb, as in the following example. If I had known he was such an idiot, I would never have dated him. Had I known he was such an idiot, I would never have dated him. That was it for today. Just one more thing before I leave you. In case you're using negative inverted conditionals, remember the particle not will go after the subject. So, should you not want to keep watching, go in peace. <laughs>